Hey everyone! Today we're checking in on my Paleo house. I'm excited for what Paleo will bring us this year. Who knows how our areas will change. But for now, this is Ellie's place. I now have three houses. The main house, the workshop, and the farmhouse. Plus my garden areas. Let's take a look, shall we? First, let me show off my workshop. It's a clean space that houses most of my crafting machines and workbenches. I wanted a space that is organized and keeps these bulky, not so pretty machines out of sight. It also works great for efficiency. I decorated the walls and included a seating area because I believe workspaces can and should be nice to look at, especially when you spend a considerable amount of time in here. Next up, there's a simple seating area out front. It's nice and shaded. The orange pumpkins and tree really complement the abundance of blues. And the amazing Kitsu ancient rock garden. I spend way too much time trying to catch a glimpse and taking pics of her. I recently finally got my first gazebo. It's a work in progress. I'm looking to do something different. Some kind of meeting spot with lots of colors. Like I said, work in progress. I've got so many fun yard decorations. From the choppa fountain, to the frog bucket, to this herd of garden cernic. I think they make the place fun, and I'm just waiting to see what they give us next. Welcome to my farmhouse. This is where we do our jamming. It's also where we show off our products, as well as our awards for excellence in farming and cooking. In the back, there's a quaint, clean sitting area and a storage chest. Lately I've just been growing blueberries, apples, and a few tomatoes. I have some workbenches back here, for convenience, along with worm farms and seed makers. I also made this little outhouse area, considering privacy, and I don't have any indoor bathrooms. While it was kind of funny, I was so pleased when we got the parade of solid color wallpapers. This color is so soothing and perfect for my living room. The blues and greens really bring a calming presence to the space. The bellflower furniture is so pretty and a perfect fit here, customized in blue of course. I will admit my dining room is dark and more traditional with lots of wood. I loved the Moonstruck dining chairs right away and I knew I just had to use them. This room really sets a wonderful cozy tone with the dark walls and the soft lighting. I've added some of the Valley Sunrise furniture scores from the Lucky Coins, like this table for desserts 
and these shelves. Just give me all the tiny things so I can fill up my shelves. I haven't changed a thing in my kitchen. I still like that it's well lit and clean. I hope in the future we can change the stove, oven, and work tables. Like maybe a customization or something. This space is very warm and open, and I really feel like I could get some serious cooking done in here. This is my mudroom. It's filled with lots of makeshift items, with a door leading out to the garden area. It's a fun area, where I don't take it too seriously. If only I could do that with an entire house. Now there's a challenge idea. This room is warm and super cozy. It's filled with deep jewel tones, not to mention it's the only room with a fireplace. Plus the amazing mix of items on the walls gives it a sophisticated style. This addition is new since I recently got the Miner's Curio Cabinet. Now I have room to hang more trophies and awards. I imagine this room to be an office or a study, but really it's turning out to be a cozy trophy room and that's okay. It's a treat when I can come in and rotate my trophies as I level up in my skills. This space is somewhat of a transitional space. I keep referring to it as a lounge area, but I believe inspiration will hit one day and I'll figure it out. My bedroom is my favorite room. I absolutely love dark purples and blues. The Ravenwood and Moonstruck furniture pieces really mix well and I'm loving it. It's like a dream to have enough space for a bed, a soaking tub, a seating area, and a dressing area, all in one cozy room. And I'm totally in love with these witchy vibes. Magic mirror on the wall. Who is the fairest of them all? This was a craft room before I created my workshop and moved my workbenches. I guess it could still be a craft room, but it also might make a great bathroom. Hmm. The backyard space began with these overly sized items from the Maji Market. Now it's become somewhat of a dragon shrine. I want it to eventually become a fun place to hang out and have outdoor parties.
And that's my paleo plot for now. I'm definitely hoping they bring more to the game all around. I'd really love some pathing and landscaping like flowers and bushes. Also, wouldn't it be nice to have doors inside the house? I'd love to know what you thought in the comments or if you have any suggestions for me. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!